What's up, everybody? It's Lafayette 9000 here. And we're going to talk about the Leo Santa Cruz and Carl Frampton recap match that happened like this a few seconds ago, actually. Wow, wow, wow. Historical fight. Very, very, very good fight. Um, Action pack. Leo Santa Cruz did what I thought he did. If you watch my, re- my preview for the fight, he finally, he finally listened. Stay tall. Keep him at a distance. Jab, 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 jab. That's all you had to do. And what did he do for 12 rounds? Stay tall. Kept my distance. Dead jab, jab. He wanted to brawl. You saw it in his eyes. He wanted to get in there. He wanted to brawl with him. But he stayed strong. He stayed smart. And he didn't let his emotions guide him. He did the right thing tonight. And he's once again a champion. He's the WBC Super Champion. And he's also the W. Oh, I'm sorry, the WBA Super Champion. And he's also the WBC Diamond Champion. Which means, which means he should be next in line, if he as a rematch because he's going they're gonna do a part three if he beats him again, he is in line to face the WBC, which would be great because he get unified titles, which I'm always for, unifying titles. But what a great night of boxing! Um, shout out to Leo Santa Cruz. The crowd was epic. The crowd was energetic. The uh, the, the travel support for Carl Frampton was there. It was unbelievable here tonight. That's what we need every week, every night. Unbelievable stuff. Congratulations to Leo Santa Cruz. He fought a perfect fight tonight. We'll see what happens in the third fight. Let me you guys know when the third fight even happened. When Leo Santa Cruz pulled out saying, you know what? I'm going to unify these belts. Or he's going to be a man at work. I think he's going to be a man at work. But you guys let me know what's going to happen. And also, if the third fight does happen, what does Carl Frampton do now? What does he? What does he change up in his game plan? What does Leo Santa Cruz do? Because now we saw him in the first fight become a brawler. Now we've seen the second fight he can box. Is he gonna mix it up or is he gonna stick to boxing? Let me guys know in the comment below what you guys think. This is Life at Nine Thousand. I'm saying peace.